Hello there, everyone, and welcome. My name is Melissa Armo, and I own the Stock Swoosh. And I wanted to talk a little bit this morning about technical analysis. For those of you that don't know what technical analysis is, it's looking at past price data to predict future price data. There are many people that are active traders in the market that, are, are, that know what technical analysis is, but they look at things on the chart that are irrelevant or that are absolutely meaningless. And, it, and they also give meaning, great, great meaning, very often to things that don't matter in the chart and don't predict where the stock movement is going to go at all. So techno, technical analysis, and I, and I say advanced technical analysis because the, the system that I use is advanced. So if you come and you learn my class, it's advanced technical analysis, reading charts. But many people that even use technical analysis that are active traders, and not everybody does. Some people trade based on fundamentals, all right, which I do not look at fundamentals at all, but some people do. But even those people are aware of technical analysis or what it is. They don't find any weight in it at all. I'm telling you that focusing on technical analysis, advanced technical analysis works if you focus on the correct information because price is very important. If you, for example, if you knew that a stock was going to go to a certain price higher by a certain day, you would, what would you do with that information? Of course, you would buy the stock. You would buy the stock. You would say, I know this stock is currently trading. I'm just using a random example here to show you. You'd say, well, I know the stock is trading at $80. I just found out it's going to go to $100. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it and make $20 per share of that investment. Well, of course you would do that. Just like if you had all of the numbers magically for the winning lottery, you would be able to, you would play the lottery and do it and win. It's not like that though. It's not based on random action and technical analysis. It's not gambling. It really is looking at specific information to determine where the price is going. It really is. The problem is that too many people look at it too randomly because they're using set indicators. Indicators are, set, are something that was put on your chart by the computer program, like moving averages. Some people even use Fibonacci's. I don't use those at all. But many, many people rely on, on uh, technical indicators to help them determine what, where the stock's going to go. They're, they really won't tell you where it's going to go. So as a result of this, people tend to feel like technical analysis isn't good enough to determine where the stock's going to go. But that's simply false. If you focus on the correct price information that's in the chart, you will be able to predict where the stock's going to go. But many people do not know what to focus on. And that is what you would learn in my Golden Gap course. You must focus on the, the proper information. And that's what you learn in the class. And, you know, so it's, it's not gambling. It's not luck when you trade. Uh, it makes a whole lot of sense that if you could predict where somebody's going to go, you take the trade to get in. It doesn't mean that it works 100% of the time, but it works more often than it does not. Anything is about percentages. There's a certain percentage you're going to win. There's a certain percentage you're going to lose. There's a certain percentage of your account that you should risk trading, and you're looking to make a certain percentage every time you take the trade, okay, or, or an investment. You should have parameters like that when you are trading, if you're going to do it seriously, or even if you're going to invest, even if you're looking at it seriously. Anyways, most people have heard of technical analysis that trade. If you haven't, I'm telling you, it's looking at past price data, but do not rely on specific indicators because if it was that simple to trade or to make decisions about trading, guess what? No one would ever lose. You just put a, a moving average or a line on a chart and you say, there it's going to go, boop, 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 and then no one would ever lose. They would just use that one specific indicator. It doesn't work like that. It's not that simple. There's a, there's a knowledge, there's a skill set, there's a learning how to read the charts, and that's what I teach people in my Golden Gap course. But it is definitely not something that is so random that you can't learn it, but it does take a set skill set. It's, I call it a language. It's a language of charts. It's reading the language of charts. So for 10 years, I've been reading the language of charts, specifically in gaps. And it's one of the reasons I've been able to really see where something's going to go when it does gap. It's because I've been doing this for a long time. And I've been focused on the, focusing on the, the key, key ingredients that are in a chart uh, that is going to tell me where the price is going to go. So and that's why when I talk and, I, and, and when I talk in the trading room, when I'm talking on videos, when I'm even talking on national television, you know, I'm speaking with a very high level of conviction when I say these things because, I, you know, I'm very aware of the fact that I truly look at a price and can see where that is going to go next 
And that's how I'm able to call it. And if it doesn't do that, then you know not to take the trade at all. It doesn't mean you're doing the reverse. And that's something else that I discuss in the DAP class and in the trading room as well. So if you're brand new to technical analysis, there's, you know, there's many, many things you could learn from me. If you've been trading for a long time and you've been using technical analysis, but not found it to your advantage, I'm certain that you're looking at the wrong things. And if you strictly trade in fundamentals, good luck, because if you're missing price action, you're not going to get enough information to be able to determine what's going on. Very often, what is happening with the fundamentals of the stock is already built into the price action. The price action is live. It's current price, live time. And there's nothing, nothing more important than that because you want to get in the trade to get a good entry, whether you're going long or short. And very often, that fundamental information is already built into the price of the stock where, where it is currently trading. If you'd like more information, you can email me at melissa at thestockswish.com.